If you've ever had the pleasure of throwing the ball with your father, or any father figure for that matter, you'd agree with us that those moments are definitely saved in our minds as core memories. It looks like the same is the case for Naomi Osaka, as she brings in her dad to be her coach. Apparently, she wants to bring the fun element back into the sport. Let's find out more about her decision, starting off with Osaka, bringing the fun back to tennis. From what we've seen so far, Osaka has been having a hard time as she deals with the world of tennis and all the stress it brings. She did opt out from a couple of matches because of injuries and mental health issues, but she's ready to be back and thrive while she's at it. While the torn Achilles tendon ended her season after a defeat in the first round of the French Open, all's well now, and she's eager to return to the court in this week's WTA 500 tournament in San Jose, California. To make the sport fun once again, Naomi has decided to call in her dad as she trains with him, and with a familiar face in her box rooting for her, we're sure she's going to be great as she plays next. She has parted ways with her old coach of three years, and instead of joining hands with some other expert, she's decided to have her childhood mentor trainer. So, what does her dad bring to the table? With the old man coming to her rescue, what will he be adding to her routine? Let's find out what she had to say about it. As of now, there's no surety if she will be officially asking any other coach to join, but her dad has returned to help her when she is stressed out so that she can get the most out of her skills. In an interview, Osaka said she wants to bring her father back because he constantly challenges her to think outside the box. She also said that he consistently reminds her that things are better than they seem. Now, there's nothing like a parent taking you out of a dark phase with some wise guidance, right? And here's the most wholesome part of it all. Looks like things are only going to get cuter from here onwards. Naomi even added that when things get really bad, her father always has some funky dance moves stored away that help her feel better. Now, isn't that adorable? So it definitely looks like it's going to be great for her to have him around. And plus, it brings back memories of her childhood. Back then, he used to be her go-to mentor. It's high time the man wears the cap again and gets back to help our champ rise to the top. We know she needs all the happiness she can get right now, considering how tough she's had it for the past couple of years. After her withdrawal from the French Open, Osaka took a lengthy vacation from tennis in order to deal with her stress and anxiety, and now her father is there to help her relax as she takes on some more tennis champions. She said, I just would like to have fun, and I know I say that very often, basically every tournament for the last year now, but to genuinely have fun. She went on to say that she reminisced with her dad how years ago they'd have to fight to practice in public courts. We absolutely adore her growth, and we can't help but see her turn into the next Serena, or maybe even better. But what about her previous coach? They have ended their partnership after two brilliant years, which saw them win the 2020 US Open and the 2021 Australian Open. Osaka claims she and her former coach didn't break up because of any bad blood, but because she wanted new energy in her training. Don't worry though, as she said, there's no tea here. From what we've heard, Wim is a fantastic instructor, and she's had a great time with him, even yet. She made it clear to the public that they had not broken up on horrible terms. Also, Naomi mentioned that he's a high-achieving person who felt would have also wanted to add a few victories to his resume. She tried to reason it all by saying that with her injured, his chances of getting those wins were near zero. As she put it, it was two different mindsets, and now, to prepare for the competition, she has her dad by her side. She also said that she's appreciative of the fact that people are willing to pay to see her perform. As a youngster, she had no idea what she was getting herself into. The only things on her to-do list right now are to have a good time, be thankful for what she has right now, and interact with everyone to the best of her ability. It certainly looks like training with her father is effective because she played against Quin Wen Zhang, won, and is now set to face Coco Goff. Now in other news, for the tennis fans out there, congratulations are in order for Maria Sharapova. Russian beauty and the former world number one has taken a bow from tennis and is now conquering motherhood as she recently gave birth to her baby boy. Theodore Gilks was born earlier this month to Maria and her partner, Alexander Gilks, and they announced the news on Instagram. During the entire pregnancy, she often shared photographs of herself on social media, and it was a sight to behold. She even went ahead and called the birth the most beautiful and challenging gift of her life. Maria finally posted a picture of herself and her baby's father on Instagram, and the love and affection radiating from their faces were just so cute. With five grand slams and 36 championships to her name, along with three doubles titles, she aced tennis, and with all those achievements under her belt, we're pretty sure she's gonna ace motherhood as well. Next, Venus Williams is down after a promising start at the City Open, and Venus fans ended up with some disappointment on their palate as she lost in the first singles match. Rebecca Marino, a Canadian qualifier, defeated the 42-year-old 4-6-6-1-6-4 in Washington, D.C. in her first singles match since last August. Williams did come to talk to the media, and in her own words, she was just a little rusty. According to the star, in the third set, she really got herself in a nice place, but if you ask us, it all went downhill from there onwards. As of now, she's gonna try and shrug off some of the rust that must have settled while she was resting. Venus also added that she was kinda expecting this to happen, so she's not surprised. But don't you worry, the star is set to compete in another tournament and come back better than before. She also felt bad for the fans who were there to watch her win, but, well, things don't always work out how we'd hope them to be. And finally, here's
here's why Kyrgios isn't going to be competing in Laver Cup. The Laver Cup, scheduled from the 23rd of September till the 25th, is the talk of the town in the tennis world. With the big four, i.e. Rafa, Djokovic, Federer, and Murray playing together for the same team, it's bound to be a hell of an event, and it came as no surprise to us that officials wanted Kyrgios on board as well. After all, if you've seen him perform, you'd know, his tantrums aside, the man really knows how to put on a show. But here's the catch, though. If you had been looking for all five of them to play in the same cup, you might be a tad disappointed now that we've come to know that Nick won't be playing. Yep, the man himself went on Instagram to talk to his fans and inform them of his decision to sit this one out. According to him, he'd like to opt out of the cup and instead spend some time with his family and his beautiful girlfriend. Now, we can't help but feel a little mushy inside. They do have a beautiful relationship, won't you agree? The decision doesn't come off as a surprise for us, considering the fact that Kyrgios did spend a major chunk of the past couple of weeks first training for and then playing Wimbledon. And while he did manage to land a spot to the finals, plus we'd say he gave a pretty tough time to Noel all in all, the experience might not have been as rewarding as he would have liked. So, as we said, it's no surprise that right now, he might be feeling a bit burnt out. But you do you, Nick. There's nothing like a little vacay with your fam and the love of your life to get you back on track. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Osaka's decision to call on her dad for coaching? Do you think the duo will rise, or will the dad's leniency come in the way of her training? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.